Hello, thank you for joining me. I'm at Hearn Hill today, Hearn Hill Station in South London. This railway station was opened by the London Chatham and Dover Railway in 1862. We haven't actually come here though to um, do standard gauge railways. We've come here because there's a miniature railway here. It's another episode of Miniature Railway Britain and um, it's nice to be going to a miniature railway in London. It's been a while since um, the last miniature railway we did in Great London was Rice at Lido. And uh, before that we did the um, Harlington Model Engineering Society. So today we're going to Brockwell Park Miniature Railway. It's a seven and a quarter inch gauge railway, not far from the station. So we're going to go out the front of the station and um, walk along the street a little bit, cross the road, and that's where Brockwell Park is. So quite excited about this railway. I have seen it before walking through the park, but I've never actually had a ride on it. So today I'm quite excited to be going to have a ride on the Brockwell Park Miniature Railway. So that's the ticket office over there behind the um, canopy. We go down the steps and um, then we'll go to the miniature railway. Let's get down here. Okay, so this is here. This here, so that is the number of the bridge. We're exactly four miles. I'm assuming that's from London, Victoria. Um, if, if you know it's not Victoria, then do comment and tell me. I'm assuming that's Victoria. So we're going to go through here, out the station. For um, a suburban London station, it doesn't have ticket barriers, which makes um, holding a camera and walking out the station at the same time a lot easier. Uh, so this is the main ticket office here. Big and spacious. We go out here now, it's quite a busy market. On. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to stop filming, I'll walk through the market and um, then I'll start again when we get to Brockwell Park. I made my way through the market and the park is just here. I can remove my mask now. My sister made this mask for me. This is my new mask. I should take with me every time I go on a um, full-size train journey. I don't think it, the uh, wearing a mask on train rules applies to miniature trains. So this is Brockwell Park. Really big park. I've seen it many times. I've said I have been here, but also seen it many times from the railway line there. Now I believe the miniature railway, from what I remember, was just over here somewhere. So I'm going to walk across. Um, and let's go and find it. I think the station is not far from here, but it's getting a bit windy, um, so I apologise if there's any wind noise. I can see the little station, yeah, so no sign of a train yet, but it's probably at the other end. So here is the station. So this is a new miniature railway. I wonder what kind of, no idea what they're going to be running today. Here we go. Here is the little railway station. So the track just ends there. We've got to wait for the train to arrive now. So we just saw the little intercity right on the park. This is Hearn Gate Station, um, but no one got off and no one got on. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to walk down to the other end of the track and we're going to get on there and we shall have our trip from the other end to Hearn Gate and so probably back down to the other end again.
We've had a great time here at the Brockwell Park Miniature Railway. Um, now we've had our ride on the HST, I thought we'll, we'll go for a ride around the park. Well, one other thing that I've been told, the plan is to build an extension to do a loop through the, through the woods on that side. So, um, you know, if you do come and visit them, and no doubt I'll be back in the future to see that extension. I thought as soon as we're here in this rather large London park, it would be a shame not to have a bit of a around so we're going to go up here there's a lido over there 1930s lido and um i believe there was a big house up here which would have once been you know a stately home in what would have once been you know open countryside before the urban sprawl grew up so i'm just going to walk up to the top of the hill and um let's just see what we can see before i head back into central london well with the london skyline behind us i'm just reaching the top of the hill it's a really nice part this so you know if um you ever fancy a day out in london not in the centre of london you could jump on the thames link or south eastern train or even on a bus it's very easy to get to by public transport and have a walk around this really nice park have a ride on the train have a walk up the hill and uh, just explore really there's a lot of people around today enjoying the park up the top though is the big mansion i believe it's a cafe now so just coming up to that here. So this would have once been a country house out in the country and um, now it's a park. So I'll just show you a big map here. Um, so to give you an idea, we're up here. Um, it says you are here. The railway line is down the bottom. There's a walled garden and some ponds. So I think before I finish the video, um, yeah, I ought to go and find them. But let's just have a quick look at the house as we pass by. So, yeah, that is a cafe. So if you are here for a while, go in there and get a cup of tea or coffee. I'm going to carry on walking. I'm going to go and find the wall garden now. now. I've just walked up to the top of the hill. And I've come to this lake up here, which is all quite exciting. So it's a very varied park, you know, you've got wide open spaces, you've got a lot of different trees and you've got the lakes. But what I'm quite excited about um, is what's behind this wall, because this is the walled garden we saw on the map back there. So always enjoy a walled garden. Yeah, they're usually really nice places to have a look around. So I thought we'd finish the video up there. Um, so there really is just so many things to do in this park, like the miniature railway, you can have a really nice walk around, there's a cafe, there's play areas for children, there's the Lido, um, there's even a model village, look, there's actually a little model village, which is really nice to see, so, got a model village here, um, I'll just show you this, this is like a little, possibly a summer house, uh, nice little building, but let's go and have a look around the wall garden, because that was my um, planned place to finish the video. So we'll just go through there, and um, we'll just go through this gate just here, and we come into the walled garden, and there's sort of paths going off in all directions. Let's go up this one, and uh, which looks like a really nice little walled garden. Um, lots of roses. Always enjoy walking around. It's a bit like being at a National Trust property. So we'll have a wander through to the other side of the walled garden the back of that little summer house stroke folly. Looks like there's going to be a pond here. There's a mulberry tree just there. We come to the pond, the centrepiece of the wall garden here. I'm just going to go around, I might look at this path 
This one here goes through a big yew tree, so let's go this way. So um, I hope you enjoyed this video, and like I said, it's very easy to get to here. We've got Hearn Hill Railway Station almost adjacent, We've got a lot of buses that stop here, so you know, why not come here to this park at Hearn Hill, have a ride on the train, have a walk around the park, explore this lovely garden, um, come and visit it. So thank you very much for watching, please do feel free to like, subscribe, comment, tell your friends both about Brockwell Park Miniature Railway and the whole park in general, and about Henry's Adventures. Thank you very much for watching and goodbye.